Welcome to Adventures in Small Business, a collaborative effort by the U.S. Small Business Administration Hawaii District Office. The Hawaii Small Business Development Center, the Patsy Teeming Center for Business and Leadership, and the Veterans Business Outreach Center of the Pacific to showcase the stories of local entrepreneurs and small businesses. I'm Colleen McLooney from the Patsy Teeming Center for Business and Leadership, and today we have Brian and Angel Foster from Island Olive Oil Company. Welcome. Thank Thanks for having us, us Colleen. Oh, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> so let's see. Today we want to start out with, well, I know, why don't we just first start with uh, where your stores are located, so then that'll give everybody an idea of what we're talking about. Okay. Well, currently we have two stores. We have the one uh, that's at Ward Center. It's in the Ward Village area. Mm -hmm. uh, it's real easy and convenient. And then we also have another store that's in Kailua. It's in the Kailua Town Center, right on Kailua Road between Miyoshi Ramen and California. Oh, fantastic. So war, the Ward location was your first. Yes. Correct. How long have you been there? That, seven years. Oh, seven years. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And then how long have you been in Kailua? Just over, just over two years now. Oh, okay. Oh, wonderful. That's so exciting. Oh, that's a big leap, too, for a small business to go from one location to two. Yes. yes. That's, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. A little, little stressful at first, but after, after the dust settles and, it, and you start seeing the, the fruits of your labor, you kind of get a little bit more ease. You're like, oh, okay, thank you. Right, you know? right. Oh, but that's fantastic. Congratulations. Oh, thank thank you. you. Okay, so why don't we start out with um, sharing your background and about yourselves and how you got started with the olive oil company. Um, interesting story. We we both have very diverse backgrounds. We, we both grew up locally. Mm -hmm. uh, then we both went to school in the mainland. Uh, we, you know, she was involved with fine arts, design, things of that nature. I was uh, in finance, and I went. Nine eleven happened. I joined the military for a while. Mm -hmm. Got into operations. Went into defense. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, overseas a lot for for what I did uh, for work. And and she was more or less here most mm -hmm. of the time. She was my mm -hmm. rock, and it was great because we, you know, we, we kind of, we were ready for a change. And yeah. we, she, you know, we've talked about it and it was time for me to be more stable and be at home more often. And we kind of just were talking and developing new ideas and new things. And the olive oil company kind of, it was a match made in heaven because we're both really, really big into food. Mm -hmm. we're, we've always been big nutritional mm -hmm. people and everything else. So, you know, we took a chance. And that's what entrepreneurs do, right? We Definitely. all we all have to take that leap of faith. And when we got, we said, you know, there's no turning back now. Once we open, once we close this door of, of very successful careers that we were in, and, and transition into something new, mm -hmm. it's a little stressful. But we did it, and we haven't looked back, and we're we're fortunate and blessed. Well, it wasn't completely new because we both had a lot of background growing up in uh, different food industry oh. um, jobs. Uh, Brian worked for several years um, putting himself through college mm -hmm. and um, when I was young my mom had a restaurant and I have lots of family members that have had restaurants so we spent a lot of time working in food in the back of the house and all the different aspects and learning about small businesses and how to run them so that was oh, kind that's of extremely helpful. Yes. I'm yes. Sure. <laughs> oh fantastic. Okay so, um, so you decided to buy the business Mm -hmm. and or start the business and then uh, let's see so okay so your motivation was that you were ready for a change and that you wanted to take a new spend more time at home spend more in time Hawaii at home. Correct. excellent excellent it's always so interesting to hear what motivates entrepreneurs to start their own business it really is I, mean, I was gone what ten nine ten months out of the year early midlife crisis early, yes, yeah. that was a good motivation <laughs> need a change I, I was always on the road so <laughs> yeah. you know Right. It was just something we could do together. It was, uh, you know, we both decided to bring our different, it was good because we could both bring our different strengths, the creative side and the operational so side. So. Right. It's a match made mm -hmm. in heaven. So can you share with us how, um, maybe how hard it is being an entrepreneur? I, <laughs> I know there's good sides too, but a lot of people, it's easier to share the harder side sometimes it, first. It, it always is. Um, I'll start with this. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You know, when, when you work for, uh, I worked for a Fortune 500 company, and when you're working for somebody else, you, you, you feel that motivation, but you're going in every day, you're getting a paycheck, and you know, you can go home at night with not a lot of stress. It depends on the position you're in, of mm -hmm. course. I think. 
you know, progress. But when you're an entrepreneur, not only do you have to worry about all your employees, you have to worry about yourself, you have to worry about all these different things and factors. You have to wear so many different hats. You're the mm-hmm. finance guy, you're the marketing guy, you're this person, this person, this person. And you, you're, you're like a, one of those circus performers. You're, you, you have, you're juggling all these different balls. Somebody just keeps throwing more and more balls at you. Like, oh my gosh. And it never and stops. And it never stops. It's 24 <laughs> 7. Yes. You know, but. 25 7 sometimes. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, and then that's, but that's the stressful entity of it. You know, people, like you said, people want to talk about the negativity aspect of it. Mm-hmm. But the positive aspect of it, the reward uh, that seeing people and the, the smile on their face, you know, we have some of our customers that come in and they're so thankful that we have mm-hmm. these products. Mm-hmm. You know, we we are a little bit flexible. We can kind of make our own schedule. So we mm-hmm. technically work twenty four seven. But yeah. we, can, we can. It's like okay, if I really need a day off to decompress and go to the beach or something, or to go, you know, we can do that. But we have to weigh that. It's very very rewarding. It doesn't always feel like work when it's work, mm-hmm. even yeah. though it's, it's it's a different feeling. Um, you. I think you have a little bit more batteries in you when mm-hmm. you're, you know, working for yourself. Yeah. Right? You got a lot of skin in the game. Yeah. Oh, exactly. yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell, uh, let's see, tell me a little bit about some of the challenges you've encountered uh, becoming entrepreneurs and being entrepreneurs and um, how, you've, how you've handled them or the outcome. Um, I'd say a lot of the other business owners that I've talked to, we, we all face the same things. Uh, the biggest one is labor, mm-hmm. you know, getting the right staffing in place. Hawaii is of course for such a low unemployment rate and getting good qualified candidates in the door yes. to help because if, you know, as an entrepreneur, if, if nobody's there to work that shift or nobody's there to do that job, it falls you, on us. On exactly. Us, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're the ones doing it. So labor is, is the big, the big portion of things. Uh, mm-hmm. Absolutely. And once um, you hire people, keeping them there, yeah. you know, people right. move on and they're, you know, building their own lives and, you know, so right. Right. as soon as you have someone trained, then they're with you for a little while and then yep. and they can get hired away. Yeah, yeah. So right. that's a challenge. An- another challenge that we faced was the educational aspect of olive oil. Mm-hmm. A lot of people think that, um, you know, what they've been consuming their entire life is quality stuff. And so we have to educate all the love customers that come in. We educate the chefs. We go and do teaching classes so that people are informed about mm-hmm. what you're looking for in a quality oil, um, how that relates back to them, you know, the difference between a fresh oil and a fresh um, versus a non, not so fresh, I should say not so fresh oil. Mm-hmm. Right. The difference is night and day. Uh-huh. Like the pickle you know, in your throat. So yeah. The, absolutely. And so we're constantly educating and reinforcing that with our customers. Right, so you have a great amount of education then for your employees yes. then too for Correct. your staff. Yes, absolutely. Oh, amazing. So what do you, what would be, a, do you do like a, for a new hire, I'm sorry, for a new hire, do you spend, you know, a certain amount of time, like do you give them a week or what, what I mean, is it a month or it's, two months or months, multi-months? You just said it. Program? It's the initial, the initial startup phase is we have we give them a book of knowledge, um, and that's and it, what it's called. The yeah, Island yeah, it's olive called oil book great. of knowledge. It, it <laughs> breaks down all the differences about olive oils, balsamic vinegars, gourmet products. What are truffles? Mm-hmm. We go into mm-hmm. this whole thing of it. So they, when we bring on somebody new, we're training them for an entire month, mm. and then after that month is up, then we kind of let them spread their wings and let them fly a little more um, autonomy to them, and then but we're they're constantly learning as well. Because right. there may be things that come up in a conversation with a customer mm-hmm. that we've never thought of before. Mm-hmm. And they'll call us and they're like, hey, have, you know, you know about this? Yeah. I'm like, there's always a new question. There's always, always a new question. Because mm-hmm. somebody read something somewhere, somebody saw sure. something new somewhere. New recipes. Yeah, new... and you know. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're constantly evolving and transforming. But we do we train to. them. We do work with them for probably a month at least that they go with another um, another staff member mm-hmm. and mainly like, yep. Brian is the real trainer oh, and that's an incredible yeah. amount of time yep. it's a lot of time to invest yeah. right mm-hmm. oh, amazing a lot of labor hours too yeah, yeah. financially that labor. Mm-hmm. yes so. for sure 
That's, it's wonderful to know, though, that your staff is so well educated. That's one of the things people, yeah. we, one of the biggest comments that we get is the customer service. Mm -hmm. And that is the experience and customer service is what people look yeah. for. And nowadays, there's so many uh, places to spend your dollars that right. having those good experiences right. um, really matter. Well, it makes it, 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 um, it really helps when you know that you're going to uh, a, a retail store yeah. that has so much, they have so much knowledge about their product, and then it, it, it makes you want to part with your dollar more because you realize the value of it. Yeah. Good point. Fantastic. So, okay, let's see. So what about the competition that you have in, at Ward and Kailua for the products that you're carrying? Um, how do I put this nicely? No, we don't really have, no, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We, we really don't have any direct competition. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have indirect competition with grocery stores and, and things of like that for our dollars. Right. But in terms of the freshness and quality, we have everything that's lab tested. Mm -hmm. um, nobody else can tout that. We also have the freshest, highest quality oils. A lot of people, we go the extra mile to make sure that we're the, the creme de la creme mm -hmm. of olive oils and balsamic vinegar. And so people that know and they've gotten into it, they keep constantly, constantly keep coming back to us. We've got a great recurring business that happens. Uh, we have people that refer us, refer, mm -hmm. refer um, doctors. I don't know where these guys come in. They, they refer their patients to us and say, if you want a quality oil, go here. Because like, they oh. take it as a nutraceutical, so uh, it's the very good for antioxidants yeah. and anti-inflammatory properties. So they're not yeah. only cooking with it, they're actually yes, taking they like, do a have, shot of yes. olive oil. Mm -hmm. We oh, do have a amazing. number of customers that use it as a nutraceutical supplement. Okay, and, and are there specific um, oils for that, or is it more their um, their uh, choice of flavor when they go into the store? Mm -hmm. I mean, do you have a specific oil for that just to drink? That's, that's, a good an, that's an excellent question, yeah. actually. So the fresher an oil is, the higher it's called polyphenols, which is the antioxidants, the anti-inflammatories, those good healthy properties. Mm -hmm. So as an olive oil, as soon as it's crushed, it starts getting older. Right. So olive oil is only good for up to two years from the time it's actually crushed. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, think of it, you crush an olive and it's on a downward slope as soon as, as, soon as it's going, right? So right. it doesn't matter it's about like when you open the bottle. Though, yeah. you know. It starts going. So we, since we're always rotating and we're bringing in the freshest, highest quality stuff, the doctors will be like, hey, go there and get that stuff. So we, we have it in the store. It's labeled out from mild to robust. Mm -hmm. And when, once we have it lab tested, we know what the phenolic content is within that oil. So a lot of these people will come in and say, well, where's the high polyphenols? And they know, they're like, to the right. Just go oh, to the right. They're like, okay. Yeah. so They don't care what it tastes like, although okay. it is delicious. Yes. Yeah. That, but they just want the one that has the highest the polyphenol. Highest. So uh, generally speaking, a commercial oil will probably have under 100 polyphenols. Mm -hmm. And um, our highest polyphenol oil we've ever had has been... 1200 over yeah. 1200. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. so that's what a is lot the of doctor anti usually uh, recommending that they the I wouldn't be able poly, to I would feed off. I I don't I don't yeah. know what I I am not a medical professional. Oh yeah, so no, I, I, don't, I, understand. I don't exactly I know. I thought they might come in and say, "Oh, I want this amount." No, no, okay, no they they just they come in and they say, "My doctor told me to come here because I need um, high polyphenols. Uh, high polyphenols. Mm -hmm. like, okay, say, right this there. is the one that's high. You know, I don't know mm -hmm. if he ah, specifically high. recommends a certain number. I don't know, but right. it's, it's, it's a great referral and recommendation yes. source. For, and that's a wonderful addition oh, yeah. for your business, too, is the nutritional mm -hmm. side, too. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. fantastic. But my biggest recommendation with that is you can get that nutraceutical supplement in just making a salad and cooking with your high-quality olive oil. Right, so, right. You know, it's oh, that's just great amazing. to have it that way too. Great. Okay, well, we're going to take a break right now, and we will be back in one minute. Thank you. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, inviting you to join us on Wednesdays at 1 o'clock for Cannabis Chronicles, the 10,000 year odyssey, where we take a look at cannabis as food, cannabis as medicine. Cannabis and religion, and cannabis and dear old Uncle Sam. So please join us to learn all about cannabis. Again, Wednesdays at 1 o'clock. 
Hi guys, I'm your host Lillian Kumik from Lillian's Vegan World. I'm, I come to you live every second Friday from 3 p.m. And this is the show where I talk about the plant-based lifestyle and veganism. So we go through recipes, some upcoming events, uh, information about health, regarding your health, and uh, just some ideas on how you can have a better lifestyle, eat healthier, and have fun at the same time. So do join me. I look forward to seeing you. and. Uh, Aloha. Welcome back to Adventures in Small Business. We're here today with Angel and Brian Foster from Island Olive Oil Company. We just had a great conversation about the nutritional value of olive oil, which is fantastic. And let's see, we are going to show some photos, I think, right now of um, the product and we can talk about that and then a picture of you in your new store I believe is it the Kailua store Great. yeah so let's take a look at the pictures okay so what are we looking at here right here we have um, our Mediterranean citrus dipping blend so a lot of people love to have uh, herbs with their olive oil so they can dip bread mm -hmm. but we also use these for um, general cooking you can add a little bit to salad dressing um, to mix a salad dressing up uh, use it to saute and roast veggies or with chicken. I use it for making soups, as well as um, our brownie kits and our popcorn kits. So we do a lot of um, little take and bake kind of goodies, and you can um, use Quick it. Quick Sounds of wonderful. That's great. Okay, and then let's see our next picture. Ooh, what's that? These are <laughs> shrubs. So these are our um, white balsamic vinegars, and they're already infused with fruit flavors, which is what a shrub is. So um, you can use them as a refreshing drink mixer. And uh, right here we've got a cranberry pear white balsamic with, uh, and you can see the beautiful ruby red color, mm -hmm. and just a little seltzer water and some mint, and there you go. You've got an alcohol optional beverage. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That looks wonderful, especially right now. Yes, so during exactly. This hot Very thirst quenching and probiotic to boot. So. Ooh, terrific. Okay, and then our last photo. Great. Is this the new store? That is that is the Kailua store. Um, I'm not too sure this time frame when this will be taken. It's right uh, around when we did a an opening party with the Kailua Chamber of that's Commerce. That's right. That's oh, right. Fantastic. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. And uh, so there you can see the uh, olive oil on uh, to the right of Brian. There you can mm -hmm. see is that olive oil there? That is actually white balsamic vinegar to the right. Oh, okay. Um, if we're actually looking, we're, the direction that we're actually looking would be towards the olive oils. Mm -hmm. towards our specialty oils like our truffle oils and things of that nature. But we have right. over 50 different varieties, so you can taste everything, and that's kind of how the store is set up, so yeah. everyone can taste. So you see little taster bottles on the side. You right. can come up, grab some cups, and have some fun and enjoy. Oh, that's fantastic. Taste. You taste can try almost everything, mm -hmm. at least where the olive oil and the vinegars and... Um, and all the gourmet products, anything we've oh. got, like honeys and jams and tapenades and oh, that's yeah, salts and all kinds of things. It helps right. you know. It helps you to understand and know what you're actually getting. And it's part of the experience, and it helps create that um, you know creativity yes. and thoughtfulness. And um, all of our customers get really enthusiastic about trying them. Right. And then, as far as uh, recipes for customers, I know that you have some on Instagram that you post pretty regularly. Yes, we do, um, and we're also doing. We have a lot on our uh, website. We're mm -hmm. always putting them on our Facebook page, and we're actually um, we just had. Uh, we're doing a lot of recipe development right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. So, mm -hmm. And do you guys, are you guys the recipe developers? Do you guys test all it's of your own recipes? Yes. Mostly, her, or she, I get to test them. She creates them, and I get to we test just, them. We just did an olive oil <laughs> cake. We just did Ooh. a, um, we just did a smoked olive wood, olive oil hummus. Oh. So we've got lots of really diverse, yummy kinds of fun things. That sounds yeah. so good. Warm goat cheese salad. So all, all different kinds of right. um, areas. It's also, it's not just her that's doing it or myself. It's, you'd be surprised because you, you feel that, especially on Instagram, mm -hmm. and people will actually post some recipes that they've done before. Oh, yeah. and, it just, and so it's, we share it's them. It's that momentum yeah. and we'll share it. And, it's a com real community. And, and, yeah, it's a community yes. effort. Oh, that's Absolutely. fantastic. Okay, I'm yeah. going to have to check that more often. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, great. So let's talk about uh, maybe some lessons that you've learned as entrepreneurs or insights maybe that you could share with other small businesses? Well, one thing I will say from a, for a retailer is location. 
Location, location, location. Location is everything. You want to think about um, the development in the area that you're doing your, your lease. You mm -hmm. want to think about, you know, what the future plans are um, for the, that community. And if your business fits um, that environment, you want to think about what kind of neighbors you have and if their customer base um, is complementary to yours. So if you have uh, neighbors that have shops or restaurants that have a similar clientele, that's a really great fit for you. You'll get a lot of crossover business and can do cross collaborations. Um, also, you want to think about foot traffic, right? You want to think about um, our and, and parking. Parking is a big thing here in Hawaii. It's uh, amazing, but um, you know people really need to um, have that ease of parking. That's a big issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So location, just really investigate your location. Fantastic. Have you got another insight, maybe, or no? Before we, before we, I'll just gonna touch on base on that. Before we opened up the Kailua location, we were actually going out there several times a week, different mm -hmm. times of the day, just kind of taking a look at the foot traffic, seeing what was mm -hmm. out there, sitting and watching, getting an idea and taking it all mm -hmm. in. Uh, mm -hmm. That kind of helped our decision making mm -hmm. process. And whether or not you want to be freestanding or do you want to be in a mall? I mean, mm -hmm. those are like all really good good questions to ask yourself for small business starting out. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. So let's see, what is your vision of success then for Island Olive Oil Company? Is it changing all the time? Is there one big goal you're looking to achieve? Um, Lots of things. Yeah. I would say two things that really stand out to me, um, more or less, it defines success for us. It would be one is not worrying about the business when you go home at night mm -hmm. because a lot of entrepreneurs do still sit there and they have things. And if we can minimize that to a certain level degree, I think it gives you a lot of peace of mind. That's mm -hmm. part of it. Right. And I think the other part is knowing that you made an impact in the community. Mm -hmm. When we're at the gym working out, um, you know, I remember one time I'm walking down the stairs and just another patron at the gym was walking up the stairs and she says, Oh, hey. I know you, you're the olive oil guy. And it's like, oh, you know, I'm like, thank you. She's like, I've got your stuff on my counter at the house. And that is like, you know, it's wow, almost you have a, a huge connection. It's, yeah, it's, it's a you huge You didn't even follow. know about yeah. Exactly. And it's just, right. it's very gratifying and very, you know, fulfilling. It's like, wow, okay, they've got, we hear these stories all the time. Hey, I've got your stuff. I love your stuff. It's so awesome. I, you know, I've got it as a gift or I got it at that. That kind of, that's our incentive and that's our drive. We, we it know makes you feel really good. It's like, really good, but you know, it's, yeah. it's a sign of success when people, people have your product. When people recognize it. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. right. When people recognize your brand, that is pretty good. Definitely. Exactly. We do appreciate and they recognize that. you specifically, too. We're so. very hands-on. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> very hands-on with the business, and oh, I think that's what you have to be to be well, an customers entrepreneur. customers really appreciate that. They I really so. do. They do. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's fantastic. That's great. Okay. So... Our next question then is, where do you see yourselves in about five years? We won't go to 10. <laughs> yeah, um, constantly evolving. Lake Como. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that might be the 10 year mark. Okay, um, yeah, maybe probably a little further. Yeah, <laughs> maybe 20, I don't know. Um, but, you know, the business is constantly evolving. It's constantly um, changing and morphing with the mm -hmm. times, right? So we, we eventually want to go east. Um, and, and we want to take a lot of west from Hawaii, I guess, the east. But, you know, we've got other locations to look at. You know, we could look at licensing in Japan. Asia Pacific. Asia Pacific, Australia, things of that nature. Um, you know, uh, ironically. So some exporting, maybe. Correct. Yeah. In oh, fact, um, you know, the there's a class that you guys are doing on exporting. Right. And, Thank and, you. And I'm, awesome. I'm actually going to be attending that class because it's going to give me some insights. And I love the classes that you guys put on. And, what was and, the last? that you did the with Google, the Google Analytics. Google so Analytics, and it's just, there's such, great you guys resources. are such a resource yeah. for Thank everyone you. that you can always get involved with that. And We're always learning. Or something new. Yes. So, but that's kind of where we want to be, licensing and Oh, well, that's very exciting. And more e-commerce, I'd say, yeah. too. And maybe, up the e -commerce. Uh -huh. maybe two stores. One, definitely. Mm -hmm. We've we're already got that in the works of where we want it to be. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting for things to finalize and solidify mm -hmm. a little bit, so stay right. tuned. Um, right. But definitely, um, you know, there's going to be another store in the works in the, in the coming years. Oh, that's very exciting news. Yay. I can't <laughs> wait to find out about that. The new baby. Yes, yeah. that's right. That's right. 
And then I think you have a collaboration coming up soon with Alan Wong. Yes, we do. We're really excited about it. Um, Chef Alan Wong has and his team have been huge um, supporters of our business, as well as uh, wonderfully gracious customers and use our products. So what they are doing is called a omakase, uh, drink omakase, and they're using our balsamic vinegars as shrubs to um, create a little flight of cocktails and delicious, delicious noshes, uh -huh. delicious noshes to enjoy. So um, oh, that very, sounds fantastic. very exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Oh, good. And that's coming up within the next couple weeks? Yes, it's coming up next week. Next week. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, and, they, and they do it for a limited time. It's like a special run. Oh, okay. So it's not just a one-night event. No, it's, it's going to be yeah. for mm -hmm. a week. So you can call and make reservations or go on um, Ellen Wong's website. Oh, okay. That. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. That sounds terrific. All righty, great. And then, uh, let's see, I just want to mention one other thing that you were a part of was the KCC Culinary Fundraiser. Yes. Uh, great point. Thank you. Um, the KCC Culinary Team, um, Copeland Community College, of course, uh, we've been supporters of them um, for a few years now, mm -hmm. and they did the national championship again. We just got word the other day that it was completed, and they got the silver medal, so they got second place. Right. We did a huge event um, outside, inside the Ward store in that area, mm -hmm. and we raised up a few thousand dollars for the team. Oh, Very excited about that to try to give back. We like back. to help promote we try, them. We try to help them give, you mm -hmm. know, give back to the community as well. You know, the right. community's been great to us, so we need to reciprocate and give back to mm -hmm. um, others as Oh, that's fantastic. And yeah. support young chefs. Yeah. Right. That's, that's our right. business. It's yeah. education. They're so Excellent. innovative. They're so yeah. innovative in what they do. It's incredible. They're so all minds. Mm -hmm. It is. It <laughs> is. It's amazing. It's amazing. Well, we're going to wrap up. Okay. I just wanted to remind everybody about the Shop Small Hawaii initiative that we have uh, at the Patsy Teaming Center, the business and leadership, along with the SBA partners. So if you are a uh, small business, please don't forget to register on Shop Small Hawaii. Um, Island Olive Oil is going to become a neighborhood champion in Kailua. And if you have any questions or need any uh, information about that, please don't hesitate to contact us at mtblhawaii.org or shopsmallhawaii.com. And uh, we do have that exporting workshop coming up on the 28th of this month. And that will be at our Coco YWCA Coco Kahi location. And it will be from 11 to 1. It's a brown bag lunch uh, seminar or workshop with Mary Dale from the um, SBA district office. All right, I want to thank, you, thank Brian and Angel Foster from Island Olive Oil Company today for joining us on Adventures in Small Business. And I hope to see you again next month. Thank you. Thank you.